Hey guys, it's a late night video. <laughs> I was just getting into bed and I figured I would get this done uh, tonight instead of in the morning. Because maybe I'm going to sleep in, maybe I'm going to be rushed, I don't know. So I wanted to talk about my plastic surgery consult consultation that I had yesterday. Um, sort of giving it some time. <laughs> Uh, digest the information that I got, and, um, yeah, it is what it is, as, as Corey <laughs> often says in his videos. Um, well, let me first just talk about how it's done here in Canada, or at least in Quebec. Um, we don't have, I mean, most people don't have individual insurance. Most of us have the provincial insurance, which is called RAMQ, and um, that obviously only covers medical necessary um, procedures, and they decide what that is, and they have a set of criteria that they keep, like, super top secret, <laughs> so I guess no one can complain, um, <laughs> so it's really hard going in um, to this to know what would be covered and how extreme does it have to be to be considered medically necessary and all these kind of things so basically you get a you know you get a referral to go see a plastic surgeon um, I got one from the bariatric center and they do sort of an assessment and they put in a request to the insurance um, and yeah, it takes upwards of six months, they said, before I'll hear back from the insurance, <clears throat> whether it's covered, and if it is covered, they book me sort of immediately for that, or they put me in the queue immediately uh, for surgery. So, the doctor that I was referred to, I don't know if I caught him on a bad day, or he was just not a sunny sort of person, but... He's a real downer. Like, he didn't smile. He didn't, you know, he wasn't positive in any way. He was just negative, 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 negative. So I really had to, like, I was pretty depressed when I got home. Um, so I really had to just go through the information myself and try and figure out, you know, what it all meant. Um, so we put in for the panelectomy, which is just the lower stomach removal, and that's the one that's the most likely to get approved, um, but it's by far not a sure thing. It, apparently it's really, it's really iffy, it depends on who reviews the file and, you know, what they see in the pictures. Oh yeah, there was a bunch of pictures that I had to take too, that um, go in with the submission. So it's basically they do their own sort of assessment, like they don't trust the doctor to do it. I don't know why. <laughs> um, some bureaucrat's gonna decide. Uh, it doesn't seem like it'd be much better solution, but anyway. Um, <laughs> so, so yeah, so we put in the panelectomy, and that's possibly to be approved. Also put in for a chest, well not really chest, it's more of the side boob. Yeah, side boob. That's what it is. Side boob removal. Um, and um, that's probably not going to happen. Um, also put in for the inner thigh. Um, again, probably not going to happen. Um, but, you know, it's, it's kind of you know, a lot of people, you know, that I've talked to about this, you know, they're like, don't be discouraged because it's going to be an improvement. And, um, you know, be proud of how far I've come. And it's it's definitely true. If I get anything done, it'll be improvement. And uh, it's not like this is going to, me not getting plastic surgery, it doesn't, it isn't going to like negate my, my whole journey. I mean, I didn't do it to, you know, for these kind of things. Um, I mean, I've dealt with rashes and uh, abrasions and all these kind of things for the past decade or, or two. And um, being a person who is on uh, 
medication to suppress his immune system. I mean, these kind of things are... I mean, I have a whole cupboard full of, like, different creams. I have, like, four different creams uh, that I use, and, you know, I employ every strategy possible for things like rashes. So, you know, if it doesn't go through, it doesn't go through. Um, it's sort of the biggest discouragement is probably to my romantic life, which is non-existent and is likely to stay that way <laughs> with the skin. Um, but, you know, again, dealt with that for a decade, so um, I could probably survive a little longer with, without that as well. <laughs> um, so yeah, the... Well, let me just kind of go over what he said about the, the surgeries, just for fun. He said for the for the chest thing, basically they I don't know I don't even know how much you can see, but basically he makes an incision something like this and just cuts off all that lower part and then grafts the nipple back up here. So you lose all sensation in your nipples. Not that my nipples aren't sensitive, but you know, I, I don't see how that's really gonna affect me, you know? I don't, I, I, I don't know. I, does that mean when it's cold out they don't get hard? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, something I wouldn't care about. But it's, you know, it's a, it's a pretty nasty scar. And, you know, since I get naked and run around with my shirt off all the time, you know, that's going to be a major inconvenience for me. So if that doesn't go through, you know, it's probably just, you know, better for me, right? Sarcasm. Sarcasm. Um, the inner, inner thigh thift, he didn't say much about it, like how they, what they do. Or the, it wasn't not a lift, it's just an inner thigh removal. So I imagine they just do an incision down the leg and then chop off some of it, sew it back up. <laughs> nothing too, ex nothing too extravagant. Um, now the panelectomy, this is the thing that kind of got me discouraged, is that, um, basically, I kind of felt like my doctor was even kind of a little lazy, because he's like, they only cut as far back on the sides as he can easily do with me lying on my back. Like, they don't lift it up to cut, they don't roll you over a few degrees to go back a little farther. No, you're just on the table, whatever's there, and they can get a, I don't know, get a grip on underneath. I don't know what it is they do when they make the incision, but he pointed out how far back he would likely start the cut, and it's, it's not even really on my side be quite honest it's still in the front of my stomach so that's kind of disturbing because I mean at best it's gonna be you know it's not even like a, I was kind of hoping for like maybe a 180 degree cut you know or something approaching that but no this is more like just nothing <laughs> you know no not nothing but it's like uh, just the front part, like nothing from the sides, um, and it's just a cut like this, so I mean there's no, there's no pulling in on the sides, which I desperately need, and he of course, although he wasn't very excited about anything else, the procedure that I couldn't have, he seemed very excited about, he's like, yeah, well if you get a vertical incision up here, you can just pull the sides, and he like pulled the sides like of my skin, and he's like, look, you're super thin, this would be the best procedure for you, but you can't get it, it won't be, ever get approved, and I was just like, dude, you know, I already told you I'm not going to pay you for any surgery, so why are you selling me on this surgery that I can't have that would be so freaking awesome for me, you know, <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, so the end result of the panelectomy is that, yeah, the overhanging part of my stomach will be gone um, in the front. I'll still have a lot of, on the side, basically, I'll have little sack, not little, sizable sacks on my sides, 
uh, that are still going to make things like wearing pants uh, challenging, but I guess less so. Um, and also, they don't do any pulling down of the skin or pulling up of the skin. Um, which I don't understand why you wouldn't, because it's you're still making the same number of cuts. I mean, I don't know if you have to, like, when you pull the skin up a little bit or pull it down a little bit, you have to pin it or something. I don't know. It doesn't seem like... It seems to me, as the experienced plastic surgeon that I am, it seems like a minor thing to do. Because my skin, if I can pull it out... <laughs> I'm not exaggerating. If I can pull it out, you can pull it up or down a few inches. I mean, seriously. Anyway, so yeah, my doctor was just not very encouraging. When you go in to see a plastic surgeon, you know, you're having difficulty with these medical problems with your with rashes and uncomfortableness and the weight and how it pulls on your back and your sides and your affects your balance and and on top of that, all the emotional stuff that comes with it. You want a doctor that's gonna cut, that's gonna go in, and he's gonna say, "Look, I'm gonna do the best for you that I can within the confines of the surgery that you're approved for." That's all I wanted to hear. You know, that's not asking too much from a doctor, I don't think. But no, instead, he was like, he seemed like he was going through all the stuff that he wouldn't do and establishing limits even before he was had me on the table like he's like I'm only gonna cut this far back well you know maybe you can try a little harder when I'm actually on the table or you know make that determination when I'm lying on the table and not standing up I mean it was very you know he was just very negative and um, I didn't get the feeling that he was really working for me you know and I understand that it's probably standard surgery, and they have policies of where they make the cuts, and blah, blah, blah. Um, but I want a surgeon that's to tell me that he's going to do the best he can for me. Not that he's going to limit himself even before he goes in to what he's going to do. You know? Anyway, so that was probably what upset me the most, so... But, um... I'm not locked into this surgeon, um, he's, I mean, he obviously signed the form of his assessment, and that's going to the insurance, but when that comes back, if I decide I want to go look for a, another surgeon or whatever, um, that is an option for me, of course it will slow things down, I may have to wait another six months or something like that, um, hopefully not that long, because it's already been approved, but potentially that could happen. Um, so, anyway, yeah, pretty, you know, I, I kind of, this is getting away in a lot of things I want to do in my life, having this skin, um, you know, just, just everything, just feeling better, you know, I just want to feel better, <laughs> I want to have more confidence, and it's a real drag on that, so. It was discouraging, but I decided that I'm not going to be discouraged about the whole, you know, assessment and how negative it was for me. I'm just going to say to myself, look, probably not going to get the chest thing, probably not going to get the thigh thing, so I'm just going to forget about that. You know, that's the way that is on me, that's just the way it's going to be, and I'm just going to, you know, deal with that. Um, I am going to allow myself to be a little bit foolish, though, and think that I will get the panace removal approved. Um, I don't know how many people get approved or whatnot, but I'm going to allow myself to believe <laughs> that, um, that that will get approved, at least. Because I need something. You know, I need something in the future um, to keep me motivated and uh, not get all teary every time I think about it. <laughs> So, yeah, so, yeah, wasn't the best time in the city, in the pictures, oh god, guys, the pictures, first of all, I was actually pretty impressed when I went to the, 
they have like they have like an audio visual picture taking facility in the the hospital that I went to, and the guy was like super professional. Like he was more professional than my doctor was, as far as I was concerned. And uh, you know, he had a I had a whole bunch of different poses and you know different angles. I had to take pictures of, and he like demonstrated them and all this kind of stuff. And I was just like, wow, this is a lot more thorough than I thought it was going to be for picture taking. Um, and I also asked him, I was like, I brought a USB key with me. I was like, eh, can I like get a copy of these? And he's like, we don't usually, but you know, since you've got the key right here and you know, <laughs> you just have to plug it in and copy them. That's what he did. So I have those pictures. Yeah. Try not to look at them too much because they're pretty, eesh, pretty discouraging. I mean, I see myself in the mirror, but honestly, like when I look in the mirror, I don't have any full length mirror. Well, I have one full length mirror when I come in the door, but it's not like I'm, it's not like I'm naked as I leave the house, you know, so I don't get that full view. Um, <laughs> so usually it's just the bathroom mirror. And when I look at it, I look at the mirror, I look at my head, you know, I'll look at my shoulders, I'm like, oh, I'm looking pretty good there, there's some shoulders, you got, oh, you got some nice muscles on the arms, and oh, those chest muscles are growing, and then I'll stop. I don't like to look any lower than that, because that's when it starts to get discouraging. <laughs> so, these pictures, uh, they show it all, and um, they're not nudies. I was allowed to keep my underwear on, I just had to, like, roll them up, like, uh, brief style, you know, the bo not boxers, I had to, like, roll them up, and yank them up in my crotch, basically, give myself a wedgie, that's basically what I did, I gave myself a wedgie, and then I took pictures. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. So that's fun. I'm not going to be releasing those pictures before anyone asks. Those are not ever, ever, ever going on the internet. If you're interested and you're really interested, you can come visit me. I'll gladly show them to you. But there is no way that they are going on YouTube, on Facebook, email, or any other media that I don't have absolute positive control over. <laughs> yeah. Because that bad um so that's about it i've just been rambling on it's probably no useful information for you in there but i thought i would i said i was gonna do video so i'm doing a video and that's it um it's um you know i can't even see anymore because i have a light on my camera i have it turned on because it's kind of dark in here and it's been shining my eyes, and I'm trying to look at the clock over there. I have no idea what time it is. Let's do the, uh... Oh, it's quarter to eleven. So, it's a little late, and I've been talking for a while. I still gotta have a snack before I go to bed. I'm sure you guys are all sick of me complaining about how much I have to eat. But it's a lot of work, you know? I have, um, I have half a Quest bar and a portion of nuts to eat before I go to bed. Um, this is on top of the half a Quest bar and thing of yogurt with cereal and strawberries that I had um, just an hour ago. So, really gotta pack it in, you know? And it's a. Uh, yeah. You gotta keep up on it. So that's what I'm doing. Anyway, guys, good night, and uh, I'll see you on Tuesday for another weigh in. Bye.